Hello everyone and welcome to today's webinar here at Tea Time with Demacus. Today, we're gonna to be talking about data collection and data selling technology. Today, we turn to big data. Specifically, we'll give you a brief overview of data collection and data selling technology today. We will address the following questions. What is big data? How does it affect your personal information? And why and how do companies collect big data? So if you want to know why companies like Amazon, Google, and Facebook think data is more valuable than oil, you'll find the answer here. Let's begin. What is big data? Big data describes large volumes of data or data sets that are so huge and complex and continue growing exponentially over time, they're impossible to manage using traditional software. Typically, these data sets contain publicly available or privately permitted information about human behaviors and interactions online. When the data is processed, it can generate statistics which identify patterns and trends among those activities. What is publicly available personal information? Publicly available data refers to information about a person that is disclosed to the public, but this isn't always the case. Data privacy remains an open topic since many dot-com companies regularly capture information without consent. For example, Facebook had to pay a record $5 billion to settle a privacy concerns case in 2019. These events and others like it have prompted nations and international organizations to create laws that protect personal data. One such legislature is the EU General Data Protection Regulation. In this document, we can find the answer to the main question of today's topic. And according to the GDPR, personal information is publicly available if it's contained in official documents of public interest or related to public officials, or if it contains the source of the personal data with permission for public disclosure. What kind of data collection is there? Currently, there are three types of big data. Structured, which is formatted data that can be stored, accessed, and processed. Unstructured, which is complex and usually huge data sets without form or structure. And semi-structured, which are data sets with a structured form that is unintelligible through that structure. Why do companies collect data? As a consumer, you may ask yourself, what are companies doing with my data? Usually, companies capture data for one of two reasons. The first has to do with user behavior analytics. Businesses want to get a deeper level of insight into how consumers interact with their brand, marketing, products, and services. Companies will use statistical representation of this behavior to align their sales and marketing strategies. The goal here is to use big data to persuade consumers to interact with this company instead of its competitors. The second reason companies use data is to create future forecasts so they can uncover risks, trends, and new market opportunities. This is called predictive analytics. Analytics. Predictive analytics relies on several statistical techniques such as predictive modeling and machine learning. Companies use these solutions to extract value from present data and align it with their future business goals. How to collect big data. Companies can collect data in many ways and from many sources. Some capturing methods are technical, for example, website cookies. Others are more deductive, like Google Analytics. That said, there are three ways companies can collect data. By directly asking users to provide data, by indirectly tracking user behavior, and by sourcing data from third parties. The most obvious way businesses collect data is through interaction with their websites. Here, companies typically deploy all three strategies that we've listed. For example, companies can use gated content to capture email addresses with user permission or third-party software to create website heat maps that track cursor movement on a web page. Other big data collection methods are loyalty cards, as in retail and e-commerce websites, browser games, as in World of Tanks, Words with Friends, online gameplay, as in Fortnite and League of Legends, satellite imagery, as in Google Earth and Google Maps, employer databases, as with HR and Headhunter data banks, popular email services, as in Gmail and Yahoo Mail, social media platforms, as in Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram, and ratings and feedback, as in online surveys and Google reviews. As a side note, companies tend to use managed services to protect their technology systems when capturing data. 
Besides collecting information for business use, it's common to see companies trade data either via data marketplaces or consumer data vendors. Personal data and big data are routinely bought and sold by companies. Data brokers are those who facilitate these deals. The brokerage of data includes PeopleSearch, as in Spokio, Zoom Info, White Pages, and PeopleSmart, credit reporting, as in Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion, advertising and marketing, as in Axiom, Oracle, Innovus, and KBM, political consultancy as in Cambridge Analytica, and risk mitigation. Before monetizing the data, data brokers use advanced technology to acquire, store, access, and process big data sets. For example, data brokers typically use large private clouds to store these data sets. They can then use a combination of AI and machine learning to process the data to extract value and meaning for their customers. So what is the future of data collection? Big data is here to stay. Companies will continue capturing data and using it to understand consumers consumers and make predictions about future markets. We're still unsure how new privacy laws will affect big data, or which new technologies will emerge to simplify data processing. All you can really do is stay informed. If you'd like to learn more about innovative and emerging technology, please follow Democus Technologies and continue reading about it on our blog. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys back here on our next webinar here at Tea Time with Democus.